everyone, it's John from Brisbane and today I'm going to talk about my role playing. Yes, I've started to, well, I've taken up role playing uh, again after a long, after a long time of um, a bit of a drought. I've had a friend of mine, Simon, has asked me to uh, join his group and uh, we're starting to play Dark Heresy. Uh, which is set in the uh, 40k universe. Uh, this, by the way, is the first edition. He's playing the second edition, uh, Dark Heresy, which has uh, a few changes in it. So uh, we're, we're playing that. So when I contacted Simon and asked him, I said, oh, OK, well, what are the, how many people are playing? And he said, oh, well, there's another another three chaps and I said oh okay I said well what are they playing and he said oh he said the other three are playing assassins and I went oh, oh god oh, all right oh because I was thinking I thought oh, I was going to play a Mechanicus or a uh, or an Arbites and uh, so in the end I decided I'd play well I wasn't going to join the rest of them and play an assassin I thought god how boring is that so I ended up deciding to play a, uh, a tech priest and um, of course Simon provided all the characters but I was actually going to bring my own chap along which uh, as you can see this is hopefully comes out so that's that's my lad that uh, as you can see I uh, could actually paint in the day so that's my that's my tech priest and uh, yeah so he uh, so he's my character. Uh, he apparently comes from a from a a, 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 a forge world called uh, Corthata, and uh, he uh, has a a hatred for the Mechanicus, which uh, is strange considering that uh, he's uh, on a forge world and is Adeptus Mechanicus. So that's uh, yeah. Which is why he's being picked up by the Inquisition. So uh, yes, apparently I'm a prick, <laughs> which is the way I'm playing it. So uh, you know, I'm uh, inquisitive. I like my technology, and clearly, uh, I question everything. So I question the Mechanicus's philosophy, and I'm inquisitive. And because I don't like my superiors. Um, yeah, it's you know I'm I'm role playing, which is really what the game is about. And Simon, I think, is enjoying the fact. As are the other. We only had two of the three people turn up uh, on the day, and uh, they just they just cacked themselves because uh, Simon actually Simon said you know he said it was just he said it was something he said that was missing from the group because the other two players. Uh, they're veterans of playing this game where I've just newly joined and they knew exactly what they were looking for and what they wanted, but they were having to play in character. So they actually came from primitive worlds. So while they knew what the technology and stuff that they could access and what they could do, um, I had a vague idea, but I wasn't as au fait with everything. So, uh, yeah, it was interesting because uh, uh, Sean you know found a screwdriver he didn't know what it was and you know he showed it to me and I knew what it was and I said to him I said oh it's a swizzle stick and he said oh what's a swizzle stick and I said oh I said um I said when you see the mistress because she's the inquisitor that or inquisitor I presume she is I said oh look next time she invites you to the you know to the bedchamber I said take the swizzle stick with you I said you'll find it's good and then I suddenly remembered that uh, she'd given me an implant which was recording everything and sending it back as a live feed to the ship. And uh, I suddenly went, oh dear, it's... Uh. <laughs> so it was hilarious because we were just, you know, I we kept on forgetting, uh, you know, there was that. And then there was other little situations where, you know, at the beginning of the mission she said, oh, you know, uh, no matter what, you know, uh, make sure that uh, you bring back my head. 
that uh, you know uh, the mission's critical, uh, but the information that you record, which in other words, what I recorded, had to come back, and I had to make sure because I knew the two people that I was playing with. I said, look, oh, you better make sure you you know please reinstate you know please put some caveats on that because I said they're more than likely to just bring my head back at the end of the mission rather than worry about bringing me back. So you know it it. It was a lot of fun and uh, you know we had some situations there where I decided because we knew that we were being you know that the information that I was recording because of the data link back to the ship it was uh, you know I thought oh well I said well well it was obviously a comedy channel for the people back on the ship I said look we'll call this carry on Adeptus Mechanicus and uh, poor old Simon he was just laughing and I said you know I said with the chase scenes you know with these creatures I said we'll we'll play the Benny Hill music in the background you know and he just couldn't stop laughing and uh, you know the uh, one of the little creatures that uh, Sean got was a little mechanical creature with artificial intelligence that bonded with him and uh, it took a dislike to me and uh, it gave me the finger and uh, and I was you know and Sean you know he knew what it was but playing in character he's going oh what's this what's this finger mean and I said oh Sean I said it's a gesture of greeting and he went really and I said yeah I said when you go back on board ship and you see everybody give them a big smile and give them the finger and wave to everybody giving them the finger they'll love you for it and then I remembered that this was being recorded and sent back to the ship. <laughs> and, and of course everybody was laughing. But, you know, that's what the whole point of role playing was about. And, uh, you know, we had some fun. And, uh, you know, we only had, I think, what, one, one encounter, I think, where we actually did combat. And the rest of it was just, you know doing a bit of exploring, trying to sort some things out. I think the main, you know, we were still learning, well, I was certainly learning how the mechanics and everything went, and uh, and it was a lot of fun. So, you know, I'd certainly like to thank Simon for inviting me. You know, I had a lot of fun. It was the first time I'd managed to get out of home. You know, I had to check with Michelle to make sure that she'd be okay on her own. Um, so I had to had to check with that because normally I you know really I don't get out of home, and uh, you know for me that was quite trepidatious for me. So uh, I was you know I was I was really thinking about you know do I really want to go? Don't I? And um, you know I was thinking oh could I come up with a good excuse? And I thought no, really I I, I need to get out, and I'm I'm quite thankful I did, and I think the guys enjoyed the comedy that I that I provided and, and I enjoyed myself. So thank you very much Simon for, for inviting me and thank you Sean and and Sam. You know, it was good to catch up. Uh, certainly with Sam. Uh, I used to work with Sam uh, a long, long time ago and I haven't seen him for ages so it was good. So anyway, that was my role playing experience. I'm going to write it up and hopefully it'll be as, as, muni as amusing as I can recall. So. Thank you, everybody. Um, that was just a little bit of what I what I found with my role playing experience. So, till next time, signing off, the Honourable John. <laughs>